Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod Stardew Valley. And the first thing you want to do is go into your software center. Okay, we're going to find Mono. Make sure this is installed and this one too. Mono tools and click apply. I'm not going to do it because I have it installed. Next thing we need is libgdi plus. Go ahead and click apply, install it. Next thing we need is .NET. We need .NET host, .NET runtime, .NET SDK, .NET targeting pack, and it's going to ask for a dependency. It's optional. I chose to install it because I didn't want to experience any errors. Maybe I would have, but I went ahead and just installed this one too. ASP targeting pack. ASP net targeting pack. Okay, so we have those installed now. The next thing that we need is Smappy. The website is smappy.io. direct download go ahead and save it to your downloads folder all right smappies right here We're going to go ahead and find our Steam library. For you guys, it's going to be in your home folder. And once you're in your in your um, home folder, you're going to look for .local. Share. Steam. Steam apps. And common. And Stardew Valley should be here for you guys. I have mine on my SSD, so mine is over here. Um, okay, so I went ahead and, you know, pasted that download in here, extracted it like this, and then it shows up right here go in the folder and make sure you open this with xterm if you don't have xterm you can install it either by going in the software center I think that's the easiest way but if you're not like you don't want to open software center for some reason I just would do this command right here sudo pamac install xterm all right so right click open with xterm right here we're gonna choose the dark text by typing in the number one okay we want to add smappy and we want it right on the first one type in one what do you want to do is we want to install it so press one all right everything's installed good that's very good so that's basically all you need to do and 
we can go ahead and try it out. But um, you might want to go ahead and um, update some of your mods. Okay, after all that, we can go ahead and launch the game. I like launching it this way because I'm able to have different uh, versions of the game. It makes it easy to just try out different mods and you don't have to have too many running all at once. So it keeps them organized. For this uh, video I'm just going to choose this one. Alright, I do have a few mods installed. The first one is Overgrown Fairy Buildings. I also had Spooky Furniture enabled. I really liked this mod, Flower, Grass and Snowfields. Also enjoyed Spring Trees and Elves Dirt and Cliff recolor okay guys that's gonna be it thank you for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video